Ever wondered when is the perfect time to harvest squash, or how to do it without damaging the plant? Squash, a versatile and nutritious fruit, is featured in cuisines worldwide, yet the process of harvesting it is a delicate dance of timing and technique. Let's dive into the fascinating world of squash harvesting. Firstly, not all squash is created equal. There are many different types, each with its unique characteristics and ideal harvest time. For instance, summer squash like zucchini is typically harvested when it's small and tender. In contrast, winter squash such as butternut or spaghetti squash is harvested in the fall when the fruit is fully matured and the skin is hard. Knowing when a squash is ripe and ready to be picked is crucial. If harvested too early, the squash may not have developed its full flavor and nutrient content. On the other hand, if left on the vine for too long, the squash can become tough and lose its sweetness. Some telltale signs of a ripe squash include a hard, dull surface, a full color, and a dry brown stem. Now, let's talk about how to actually harvest the squash. You'll need a sharp knife or pruners to cut the squash from the vine. It's important to leave a small portion of the stem attached to the squash to prevent bacteria from entering. Be careful not to damage the vine, as this could affect the growth of any remaining fruits. As you can see, harvesting squash is more than just plucking a fruit off a vine. It requires a keen eye, a gentle hand, and an understanding of the squash's life cycle. Now that you know the basics of squash harvesting, let's move on to what happens next, getting these fresh, juicy squashes ready for the market. Harvested a bunch of squashes but unsure how to prepare them for sale? Worry no more. Let's delve into the details of getting your squash market ready. The first step is cleaning. Nothing is more unappealing than a squash covered in dirt or grime. A gentle wash with water should suffice. Avoid using harsh chemicals or scrubbing too hard to preserve that natural, appealing look. Next, we move on to sorting. This step is crucial in establishing a good impression on your buyers. Separate your squashes based on size, color, and quality. A well-sorted batch of squash shows that you, as a seller, care about the product you're offering. Now, onto the often overlooked but vital aspect of squash preparation, storage. Proper storage is key to maintaining the quality of your squash. They should be kept in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight. Be sure to check on them regularly and rotate them to prevent any spoilage. Transportation is equally as important. Squashes are quite delicate and can be easily bruised or damaged. When transporting, ensure they are well protected and not stacked too high. The last thing you want is to deliver a batch of squashed squashes. Finally, let's talk about pricing and marketing. Pricing your squash right is a balance between making a profit and ensuring your squash is affordable for consumers. Research the market, understand the going rate, and set your price accordingly. As for marketing, consider strategies like offering discounts for bulk purchases or promoting the health benefits of squash. Remember, it's all about making your squash as appealing as possible to potential buyers. With these tips, you can maximize your squash sales. But what about the other residents of your farm, the animals? Let's delve into their care next. Animals are a crucial part of any farm providing us with a range of products and services, but how do we ensure their well-being? In the bustling world of farming, our animals are the heart and soul of the operation. Their well-being is paramount, and to ensure this we need to focus on their basic needs. Food, water, shelter and healthcare form the cornerstone of this care. Firstly, food. Just like us, animals need a balanced diet to stay healthy. This means providing them with the right combination of grains, fruits, vegetables and proteins. Remember, the nutritional needs of every animal varies so it's essential to tailor their diet accordingly. Water is equally important. Animals need fresh, clean water daily to stay hydrated and function properly. An animal's water requirement depends on their size, the weather, and their diet. So, always ensure there's an ample supply of water available. Now let's talk about shelter. Animals need a secure place to rest, away from harsh weather conditions. A good shelter is clean, dry, and well-ventilated, providing enough space for every animal. It's not just about keeping them safe, it's about giving them a place they can call home. Healthcare is the final piece of the puzzle. Regular health checks are crucial to spot any potential issues early. Vaccinations are a must to protect them from harmful diseases. And of course, a clean living environment reduces the risk of infections. But here's the thing, these are just the basics. Taking care of farm animals isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. Each species has its own unique needs. For example, cows need to be milked regularly, while chickens need a place to lay their eggs. In essence, taking care of farm animals is a rewarding task. It's about understanding their needs, providing for them, 
and ensuring they live a happy, healthy life. Providing basic care for your farm animals is essential, however each type of animal has specific needs. Let's explore this further. Cows, chickens, goats, each of these animals requires a different approach to care. Let's break it down. Starting with cows, these gentle giants are grazers by nature. They need plenty of fresh grass or hay, and a regular supply of clean water. In terms of housing, cows require a shelter that can protect them from extreme weather, but they also need ample space to roam. Health-wise, regular checkups for parasites, foot problems, and respiratory illnesses are a must. Next, let's talk about chickens. These birds are omnivores, so their diet includes grains, fruits, vegetables, and even insects. Chickens need a coop for shelter, but they also enjoy scratching around in a yard. Keep an eye out for common health issues like parasites, respiratory problems, and egg-laying issues. Remember, a healthy chicken is a productive chicken. Finally, we have goats. These are ruminants like cows, but they prefer browsing, eating shrubs, trees, and weeds. A sturdy fence is crucial to keep these agile climbers within boundaries. Goat shelters need to be warm and dry, as goats are particularly susceptible to pneumonia. Regular hoof care is also essential to prevent foot rot and other related issues. A special note on feeding schedules, cows and goats being ruminants, need constant access to food to keep their digestive systems working properly. Chickens on the other hand, can be fed once or twice a day. Also, remember to provide all these animals with plenty of clean, fresh water. Dehydration can lead to serious health issues in any animal. Lastly, let's not forget about vaccinations. This is a crucial part of animal care that protects your livestock from a range of diseases. It's a small investment that goes a long way in maintaining the health of your farm. Now that you understand the specific care each animal needs, your farm should be thriving, but remember, regular care and attention are key. From harvesting squash to caring for farm animals, we've covered a lot today. Let's recap. We began our journey with the intricacies of squash harvesting. Remember, the key to a successful harvest lies in timing and technique. The squash must be ripe but not overly so, and the use of a sharp clean cutting tool cannot be overemphasized. Safety, efficiency and the health of the plant are all at stake here. Then we moved on to preparing our harvest for the market. We learned that the appeal of our squash to potential buyers isn't just about the taste, it's also about the presentation. Cleaning, sorting and packaging our squash in a manner that highlights their quality and freshness is a crucial step. And let's not forget about transportation. Ensuring our squash reach the market unscathed is equally important. But a farm isn't just about plants, is it? So we also delved into the basics of farm animal care. Regular feeding, clean living conditions and routine health checks are fundamental to the well-being of our animals. Each animal is unique, and understanding their specific needs can make all the difference. We also discussed the specific care required for different farm animals. Chickens, cows, goats each have their own set of needs and challenges. A healthy chicken requires a different diet and living conditions than a healthy goat. Recognizing these differences and catering to them is key to a thriving farm. In essence, what we've learned today is that a successful farm requires attention to detail, regular care, and a deep understanding of the needs of both plants and animals. It's not just about the harvest or the sale but the entire process. From the moment a seed is planted or an animal is brought into the farm until the produce reaches the market, each step is important. Remember, a successful farm is a well-tended one.